Hey, it's Nooch, and Nooch is super excited for this video. You're going to want to watch the whole thing. You're going to want to have your pause button available so that you can look at the details because we're going to go into detail on the artwork for every arena in LEGO Star Wars Battles. From the light side perspective and from the dark side perspective, there's nine arenas. So we've got 18 basic screenshots to show you. In a minute, we're going to enlarge the arena screens so you can see them over this entire screen. Nooch is going to exit the screen for the first time ever. And you won't have to look at uh, Nooch's beautiful, beautiful mugshot. Anyway, you know, the, th the thing in the game is you can see the maps, but they're obscured. The, the maps move up and down depending on how the action is going. They scroll. You've, you've got the bottom obscured by your cards. The top's obscured by the studs showing how many towers are on the field. It, it, there's just a lot going on. And plus, you're playing a game. You're not taking the time to look at the maps and really appreciate the maps for all the artwork that's in there. So we're going to do that right now. We're going to look at every map and appreciate the artwork. Let's do a little transition and get rid of Nooch. Ooh. Okay. Here we are. We're in Scarif. And, and this little first one's going to be a little bit longer. So you can see on your left side, you're going to be looking at that we're going to start with the X-Wing each time on each planet. Then we're going to go to the TIE Fighter. The left side's where you're going to want to look. It's going to show all the artwork there. On the right side, we're going to show the opposite perspective of the same vehicle. So on the left side here, you see the X-Wing from the, from the opposite perspective, the, the TIE Fighter perspective. On the right side, you see the X-Wing from the X-Wing perspective. The cool thing is that everything that's on the left side is on the right side, just from a different perspective. So we're going to be focusing on the left, and here's Scarif. You can see Scarif has the shuttle that dropped down that they, they landed with so they could break in and, and get the plans. Um, you've got all the different supply crates, and, and you've got the ocean there, the trees, the, the radar that's up. You've got all that part of the map. Now we go to the dark side of the map. You've got your ad at more supply crates. You've got the tunnel where they had to come down from the base to go to the base and come away from the base where the troops come out to attack them. You've got more ocean. Uh, it's just really, you got all the trees, the, the tropical trees everywhere. This is a really cool map, especially the ad at there, that Lego set ad at that really sticks out. And, and and you can see it in your memory. And if you look over at the, the TIE Fighter perspective, same thing, you can see the, the ad out there. Okay, Camino. So you're looking at the the X-Wing is there and that's how the entrance to Camino, how Obi-Wan walks into the entrance. There's a couple like barricades in the way that you have to get around. You can see the more supply crates over there to the side. You can really see the detail of the Lego set. Well, that's just really a set of Camino. And you can see the circular uh, the circular arena where you play, which is just like Obi-Wan and Jango Fett's battle in the movie. There's a there's a wing over there. Actually, you can see the wing in that previous one of the Slave One. In this one, from the dark side perspective, back there you see that repair, that maintenance droid that's in the movie too that they swing from. There's another one off to the top right. So left and top right, you've got multiple maintenance droids. You can see the arm of the maintenance droid from the TIE Fighter perspective on the right. So that, that huge maintenance droid is there, and that's the biggest ad from here. The rest of it looks very similar, except you can see a little more of the ocean this time, and, and the raindrops are in each picture. Naboo. So from the X-Wing perspective, you can see all of the statues of fallen heroes, Lego fallen heroes, right in the background. The steps up to the Capitol. You can see there's crates on there. There are barricades all over the place to block off the streets because we got an impending invasion. The steps have been crushed. You can see that pieces of the steps are in tatters. Uh, whatever. You can see all the flowers, all the trees of Naboo, the street lamp. All this great stuff. Then from the from the Tie Fighter perspective, you've got you've got the uh, what are they the A the uh, the H A A Ts. Thank you. And along with the barricade still there, and then the giant droid dropship that all the droids come out of that that releases all the battle droids. And again. You, you've got barricades all around those. If you look off to the TIE Fighter side, you can see the roof of the building that's behind them or, or maybe the archway that's behind them along with the, the fronts of all those vehicles. Really cool stuff. Kashyyyk. Okay, this is a really cool one. If you look in tight, you can see lots of Wookiees. There are Wookiees to the right, Wookiees to the left, Wookiees all over the place. You've got the 
You've got the uh, the clone tanks that are right behind there coming into battle. The uh, the uh, imp the uh, well, uh, what is Nuke thinking of? The separatist forces that are coming to land on the beach. You've got the Wookie the Wookie buildings, the headquarters where Yoda was up there at the top. This is a really cool set when you get a chance to look at it. Then we come from the opposite. You can see the Tie Fighter rolling in from the ocean with the separatist forces in the battle droid drops. You see more Wookies on the left, top left. There's more Wookies, top right. There's a Wookie Wookie hut, and you can see the uh, the scrolling. Nooch doesn't know what those are called, but those separatist ship with the guns, maybe the separatist gunships. That doesn't sound right. Those would be flying ships. But those separatist ships rolling in from the ocean onto the beach. There's there's something blown up blown up to the right side there. There's a barricade or a or a beach encampment blown up. Okay, Takadana. We this is this is a, a basic one. You've got you've got the oh the. That's really cool. The Mandalorian flag there, but all the different flags on the right side that go along with what's attack go down to the entrance to uh, to Maz Kanata's, I don't know, palace or bar or whatever you want to call it, palace bar, where, where the Luke's lightsabers in the basement. You got the foliage there. You've got like a little statue to the right. The steps leading up. Everything going to tag it down if you look out. Okay, so we'll go to the dark side. There we go. We got Kylo's shuttle. We got Leia's shuttle that brings her to the planet. And if you look over to the TIE fighter side, you can see those the gun from Kylo's shuttle sticking out and the edge of Leia's shuttle coming in. You got all the foliage on Takadana coming into the entrance. That's really great stuff. There's really detailed Lego foliage there at the top that you can really see with some with some beacons or towers that are there as well. And you can see where in the movie Ray exits out and Finn exits out to go Hoth. We come into Hoth. You can really see, you can see the ion cannon there at the top, the shield to the left, the entrance to, to the to the bays there at the right, built into a mountain. You can see the rocks and the snow. You can see all of it. And if you look to the right, you can see the ion cannon from the X-Wing's perspective, along with the, the top of the hangar bay with the rocks, the mountain up at the top of it. You can see Luke's. Oh, look, there's Luke's. Snow speeder in the ground there at the top right on the right with the adat. And you go to the Imperial side, you can see it full on. The adats, the one fallen adat from the snow speeder. Then you see another adat with Luke's snow speeder on the right side falling down. And when you look over to the right side of our picture, you can see Luke's snow speeder at the top, the fallen adat at the bottom, the rocks and the snow and the beauty that is Hoth. <laughs> so this is a really cool map. All of it is in there. Uh, Nooch doesn't even know what else to say. This is such cool art, and those Adat Lego sets and the, the sets and the snow speeder set, Geonosis. So we've got here, you can see all the Geonosians and the crowd back there. If you zoom in, they're really, really cool. Um, you can see the entrances for the Reek and the, oh, Nooch is losing the names of the um, of the the, the, uh, the creatures. You can see the, pil the posts where, actually those are going to be different posts because the posts where Obi-Wan and Anakin were tied to are right in the middle there. And you can see they've been knocked down. they got chains on them. you got chains on the legs. On the right side, you see the Geonosians from a different angle. Again, here on the on the TIE Fighter side, more Geonosians. And you've got the, the major entrance where, where they roll in, where when they roll in and they talk about their love, which is ridiculous, but it's there. You can see the, the posts with chains, more posts with chains in the middle. The Gene Ocean's watching the battle. On the other side, you can see the opposite side of it with some nice little pavilions set up for the Gene Ocean's to get under so they don't get their skin burned in the, in the Gene Ocean sun. <laughs> okay, Endor. How about this? This is Nooch's favorite map. All of the Ewoks. Look up top. All of the Ewoks. They're everywhere. They're swarming. The Ewok tree houses are up there. The stairs, the pathways from tree to tree. All of the foliage that is really cool, all those Ewoks. And if you look on the right side, you can see more of the foliage. But go back to the left. Look at all those Ewoks and the huts and the village that goes along with all the Lego art that's in there to go along to, to enhance the indoor scene. And then on the dark side scene, you've got the bunker where they go in to deactivate the shield. They blow it sky high. You got two ATSTs, you got two speeder bikes, you have all of the foliage, and you have more Ewoks. If you really dig in there, let's say to that left of that top ATST, you can see three Ewoks at least. There's four, five. You can see Ewoks all over the place. Really good stuff. And over to the other side, you can see the ATST um, and the speeder bike kind of sticking out there at the bottom. Finally, we have Jakku. So the Jakku map on the light side, the Millennium Falcon, the most amazing ship, any movie ever. 
ever in Star Wars. The Millennium Falcon is awesome. It looks like those those four engines there are two, maybe an X-wing that doesn't have any wings on it. Then you've got uh, multiple pavilions. You've got the trading post up there at the top left. This stuff is astonishing. That Lego Millennium Falcon set is awesome, and you can see it sticking out on the right side as well down there at the bottom. This is just amazing stuff. And if we go to Jakku from the dark side, we have the fallen Star Destroyer where Ray starts off the movie. We got the X-wing in the sand, buried in the sand. It's tough to see in this picture, but you got little the little uh, little birds off to the right um, that are that are kind of exploring. You can see them better when you're actually in game. Off to the the right side, you can see the edge of the X-wing in the sand. You see wreckage from the from the Star Destroyer. This stuff is amazing. This is artwork you don't get to see while you're playing the game because you're just too focused and there's too much that's in your way. That is everything Nuch wanted to show you today. Go back and watch this again. Pause it while you go through. Show it to your friends. Everybody should see this because the artwork that has been put into this game has been invested to by the developers and it is Lego art and just regular artwork is really amazing and really worth your time to see and really worth remembering that Nooch too good.